Okay, so we're gonna test out the DJ Osmo Pocket as a vlogging camera. You've seen a lot of people vlog with it, but we're gonna decide if it really is a good vlogging camera. So far, I've had pretty good luck with it. I decided today, it's a beautiful sunny day, to come out to the Gatineau Park here in Gatineau near Ottawa, and we're gonna go on a hike. We're gonna go hike up to the Wilson uh, Ruins, which is a really cool uh, ruins up in the middle of the forest. Right when we get it there, you're gonna say, why would they ever build this up here? It makes no sense. But they did, and it's kind of cool. So uh, we're gonna go up there. I think it's gonna be pretty busy, but uh, we'll do our best. The hike is about uh, 20 minutes or so. So uh, let's uh, get going, and uh, hopefully we can uh, vlog with the Osmo Pocket. Okay, got my backpack. I don't like to carry too much gear with me, but hey, sometimes you need to, especially when you're going on a hike. So now we're testing out the audio on the external wireless mic, but I'm also recording with the internal audio as well. We're gonna see how that works. Okay, so the first thing you want to focus on when you're vlogging with the Osmo Pocket is the lens and the screen. Make sure you're looking at the lens itself and not at the screen. It's so easy to look at the screen because you're trying to Make sure your composition looks good and everything else. But please don't, it looks very odd when you look at the screen. Make sure you look at the lens. It's a cute little lens. It's a nice thing to look at. Once you get it down, you won't look at the screen. You will always look at the lens. The next thing, advice I would give, is walk kind of smooth. You're in the forest, we're on a hiking trail. Not perfectly smooth, but it's not bad. Just walk a little bit slower than usual. I'm not doing my ninja walk or the cat walk because, well, it's a long hike and it's gonna take me forever to get where I wanna go. So I'm trying to walk normally, a little bit more smooth, being careful not to trip on any tree stumps or rocks or anything else in the way. I'm using the selfie stick and I have it about a foot and a half, two feet away from me. Um, because this doesn't have a wide lens, I find you gotta keep it a little bit further away from you to get the shot you want. It's a little bit more unstable with the selfie stick, simply because the weight of it and all that stuff is going to cause a little bit more bumps up and down. But for the most part, I think it's okay. And uh, while you're out here, enjoy the view because this is a pretty beautiful trail we're on and uh, it's gonna get pretty busy pretty soon. One of the great things about this camera, especially if you're using a selfie stick or some other kind of stick with the camera, is that it's very, very easy to move around because you have the face tracking, it's gonna follow you. So that's fantastic. So if you find that you're walking and you're like, hey, that's a really cool background behind me. I like to get that, just turn it around and you're good to go. I like it when it's easy. Okay, so I also like to change up my angles a little bit. Right now I got a very high angle. I got the camera probably about two and a half feet away from me. My uh, face track is locked on, I can see that. So that's, uh, that's pretty cool. And you can also change it up and when you're walking backwards, you, you can change it up, you got the sun over there, so it's giving me a little bit more light. That's something I kind of like, just kind of testing the face tracking right now, and it's, uh, it's moving pretty well with me. I would say for the most part, yeah, I guess so. Sometimes I think the uh, Osmo doesn't like my face, much like a lot of people out there, but uh, so far it's working pretty well. Good job, Osmo, I like you too. So another thing you're gonna find when you're vlogging in general, but especially when you're vlogging with the Osmo Pocket, that a lot of people are gonna stare at you and they're gonna wanna know, what are you doing with that camera? And of course, is that a GoPro? No, it's not a GoPro, but that's okay. They don't know, so I don't mind educating people on the camera. A couple of people I know that actually purchased the camera after they uh, saw that I was using it and getting some of the shots that I like. So uh, be prepared for that. You're gonna get some uh, odd stares, but that's okay, it's not a big deal. Just do your thing, don't worry. Get the footage you need, and don't be so concerned about uh, other people. You gotta have thick skin if you're gonna become a vlogger, I guess. The other thing I like about the, uh, the camera that it does attract people, and I don't have a problem with that. I don't mind talking to people and telling them what this is. Of course, sometimes you're getting that perfect shot, and of course, what happens if somebody wants to ask you a question? Anyways, that happens, no problem. Set up your shot again, 
and get you shot. I find most people are pretty polite. They can tell when you're shooting and they'll ask you a question when you put the camera away. All right, so uh, don't let that bother you. What about you guys at home? Do you guys have an issue with vlogging in public and people staring at you? I don't know. I don't really have a problem with it. Um, you gotta get over that feeling a little bit, I guess, but I guess everybody at uh, a certain stage when they're vlogging or start, starting something new, they kinda have to do that as well. Anyways, I just deal with it. And if it's you, good luck. Vlogging with the Osmo is pretty cool, I think. It doesn't give you the exact quality that you want from a larger mirrorless or a DSLR, but for me, the fact that it's so light, I'm carrying it one hand right now, and I'm also able to hike pretty much without any problems. Of course, I do have my tripod, my other camera with me, because I want to get some shots when we get up to the ruins. For the most part, take it out, set it up, have a couple accessories, and you're good to go. You're recording, you're gathering content, you're doing what you want to do, and really don't have to think about it too much. It makes life really easy with all the auto modes. Of course, I would suggest trying out the manual mode to see exactly what works for you. But uh, if you're just starting out, hey, auto mode's fantastic. Don't let anybody tell you that uh, using auto mode isn't uh, a good way to learn this camera because it's a fantastic way. And once you get to know the camera a little bit more, yeah, pop it in manual mode. Try setting the shutter a little bit different, shutting, setting your ISO, get exactly what you want because uh, it's a pretty cool camera and it gives you a lot of features. So we're getting up to the, uh, the trail. It's telling us it is 500 meters this way. For you Americans, that's uh, not miles, it's meters, so uh, not too far to go. Anyways, let's go. You may have noticed that I'm not using the cell phone attached to the Osmo. Personally, I like the small form factor of the Osmo as it is, and I don't really like setting up the, the camera to the cell phone if I don't have to. If I have to, great. But if not, I'll use it as is. Sometimes I will if you're using it to gather you know, motion lapse or time lapse or anything like that. Or if you have complete control and you just want to set it up and you're playing with the settings, sure. The cell phone will give you a bigger screen to view your footage and also a bigger screen to adjust the menus because as we all know, adjusting the menus on the tiny Osmo is a little bit difficult at times. So the big screen does come in handy for that. But for something like this, I wanted to keep my kit minimal. I just have the camera, adapter for the tripod, and then I have the selfie stick. So I'm all good. Selfie stick's attached to the tripod adapter and the tripod adapter is attached to the Osmo. All good. Now, the previous footage I was shooting at 1080p at 24 frames per second. Now I switched it up to 1080p at 60 frames per second. Normally, I would vlog at 24 frames, but I wanna see what it looks like at 60 frames. Here's the benefit of shooting at 60 frames. A lot of my footage that I shoot B-roll and stuff like that, I like to shoot at 60 frames so I can slow it down in post. Now you gotta keep going back from 24 to 60. If you just leave it at 60 and you're happy with the look, great, you never have to change it back. But of course, if you like that 24 frame look, you're gonna to have to change it back. Okay, so now I switched back to 24 frames per second. And uh, you can tell if you like it. If you don't, that's okay. But don't be bullied into always using 24 frames. If you like 60, hey, go for it. I wanna talk about the mic for a bit. I don't have the mic adapter for the external mic for the DJI Osmo Pocket. Right now, like I said, I'm using the internal mic, which you can hear right now. I'm talking right now with the internal mic, or you can listen to the external mic that I have, which I'm using as a wireless mic and recording it to an SD card. So far, I think it sounds pretty good, but you can decide if you need to invest in a better mic or just use the internal mic, it's up to you. So I finally made it to the Wilson ruins. As you can see, you have a beautiful waterfall in front of me. Very busy day here, but a beautiful spot. Hike didn't take too long, maybe 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer because I was stopping the shoot, but otherwise, pretty good. It's a nice spot to hang out here, and that's a good spot to test the camera out, I think. Uh, it went pretty well. Uh, funny story, my other camera, my 
Sony A6400, actually the battery died on me, so I'm uh, stuck with the Osmo Pocket. Not a bad problem to have at all. Anyways, as you can see, it's a beautiful spot. Lots of nice places to take pictures and stuff if you like. And uh, yeah, if you're ever in this area, for sure, come on up and take some pictures. But uh, if you're also interested in vlogging with this camera, I think you can do it. It's not the perfect camera, but then again, there are no such things. You can try a mirrorless or a DSLR with a gimbal, but I guarantee you it's gonna be a lot more difficult and a lot longer to set up than this little Osmo Pocket. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'm gonna hang out here, take some more pictures, get some more shots, and uh, we'll see you next time.